Hey, and welcome back to Hanging with Chrissy. Today is Wednesday, and I'm going to show you a very easy, healthy meal that you can make for your family. It's pretty much just sausage and peppers. Um, we're gonna put them in the oven, and it's gonna come out great. Um, what I'm going to be using is two types of different sausages. I have a turkey sausage and then I have a beef sausage. I'm also going to be using some mini sweet peppers as well as a red onion and zucchini. Typically, I'll add red potatoes and broccoli, but I'm actually admitting that today because I have that plan for um, some other dinners that we have planned out, the, planned out for the week. So um, I'm gonna keep it pretty easy. Um, you're more than welcome to add whatever you would like, um, broccoli, potatoes, sweet potatoes, um, whatever vegetables you do like. The more color, the healthier and prettier it's going to be. Alrighty, so let's get started. All right, so what I got here is my zucchini. It's already been washed. I'm going to slice that in and the other in, and I'm just gonna keep it I don't know what kind of thickness I'm going for here. I would say like that, that thickness. Um, and actually, usually I'll slice it right down the middle and then I'll do this to make it easier, but I forgot. Um, so this is zucchini. I honestly think this kind of tastes like broccoli. I feel like I'm in a minority there because my family doesn't feel that way, but it's a nice, um, green veggie that I love. So I like broccoli, so I felt like this was a good transition um, into this vegetable. So I sliced it all the way down and I'm just gonna half it all. Um, just gonna get, stack them, and then right down the middle, slice it. So what we're gonna be putting all the veggies and the sausage, I'm just gonna put them on a flat, like cookie baking sheet. And that's where we'll be cooking everything. So I have it right next to me, so I'm just gonna to toss it to the side. And again, I'm just slicing these down the middle. And when I first saw this recipe, I was thinking, ugh, I wasn't a really big veggie person. And I just couldn't see how this would actually taste good. But oh my gosh, it actually tastes really, really, really good. Especially peppers. I'm not a big pepper person. But these little mini sweet peppers, my brother-in-law got me into them. And they're so good. They have so much flavor. So, so good. So what I'm doing is just like you do any other bell pepper, any pepper, I slice the top. And then once you slice the top, you'll see how um, it has like its little core. And I'm just gonna slice it right down there. See how I just slice it off? Same thing. I pretty much cut them in quarters and then I get my knife and then slice it right down to remove the, the core. So, um, this peppers comes with all different kinds of colors, orange, yellow, red, no green, no. And they have so much flavor. They're amazing. Um, I always wondered how people were able to eat peppers as a snack. It honestly just grossed me out before. But now that I've been introduced to these peppers, so good. Alrighty, so we're gonna do this until I probably cut about eight of them, and I'm just gonna choose different colors um, throughout the red, the yellows, and the orange, and then I'll cut my onion. Okay, so as you can see, I already finished cutting all my paper, papers, my peppers. Um, I ended up using the whole bag. Um, they were actually fairly big in size, um, so I had to slice them a little bit more than a quarter. Um, but yes, as of right now, this is what it looks like. I have my zucchini and then I have my peppers together. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut my red onion. And just like we do our onions, you uh, slice down the top, the bottom, right down the middle. And then you need to peel. What Again, whatever layer is the easiest to come off. This ended up being the second. And I'm gonna use this whole onion because again, 
I love red onions. They are just so sweet and they have such a great flavor. Um, I, I mean, I don't know. I'm not an onion person. Well, I like fried onions, but just to eat. I mean, these are just so good sauteed. I wish I, they kind of taste like candy. <laughs> okay, they don't taste like candy, but they're nice and sweet and they just have such a good flavor. Okay, so what I did is I um, sliced almost all the way through and um, because I'm gonna continue to use them as slices, I'm just gonna pop the middle off like that and then put it in my tray right over here. And then I'm gonna do the other side. Nice thin slices. I'll show you what I've been doing. Just like that. Ah, see, little thin slices. All right, and then let me open up my sausage and I'll show you how I slice those. So I finally got my sausage open um, and I bought the Texas Hish Heritage, I'm sorry, Texas Heritage beef. And then this is a new one for us. Normally I get the pork and venison, but they didn't have that. So I wanted to try out this turkey sausage, um, same brand. So what I'm gonna do, the beef I usually buy for my kids. So I'm gonna use half of the link. And then same thing like you do with your vegetables. You're just gonna slice it. Slice it to the thickness that you want and you'll do that all the way through and then you'll sprinkle it onto the top of your um your pan and i keep these whole circle i won't be slicing these in half after i get through this link so we're just going to continue doing this all the way through and then the turkey sausage i will be slicing all of that and mixing that with our beautiful, colorful veggies. All right, so we're almost done. Right over here. Um, as you're cutting your vegetables and your protein, go ahead and preheat your oven to 425. That way, by the time you're slicing, when you finish, it will be all ready for you. I'm just gonna toss that over here. And then this is the turkey sausage. Really excited to try this one out. Because it has no dairy in it. Normally you'll find like a chicken sausage jalapeno, but it has like a cheese or something. Woo! It looks like I don't want to come out. All right, so this is the turkey sausage. That's what it looks like. Some little jalapenos. Alrighty, I'm just gonna slice this all the way through, toss it in my pan. And then I'll show you what we do after that. So you can see that I have everything already sliced and cut up. Um, we got the turkey jalapeno sausage, the beef over here, and then the red onions, the peppers, and the zucchini is all in here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drizzle olive oil, very basic olive oil. I'm just gonna put, it's probably equivalent to maybe three tablespoons. Then I'm going to shake some McCormick Italian seasoning. Very simple. And then we use our hands and we're just going to mix it all up. I tend to keep the beef sausage all on one side. That way when it comes to serving the kids, I know what they're actually getting. Um, but yeah, we're just letting the olive oil and the seasoning nice and blended all together in here and then once you have it all nice and mixed with your olive oil and your seasoning even it out on your pan and then pop it in your oven um you're gonna leave it in your oven for about a good 20 to 25 minutes at the 425 Okay, so it's been about halfway since these sausage and peppers have been in the oven. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them out and I'm just gonna saute them. Not saute them, so silly. I'm gonna toss them um, around. Look, hey, Annie. 
Let me put it a little lower. Let's get my personal view out of the picture. Yeah. They love it. All right, so as you can see, I'm just trying to keep everything within the same side. Luckily, it's easy to distinguish which one's the turkey sausage and which one is the beef, so. Again, I'm just rotating it, flipping it. Once you've done that, again, spread it nice and evenly on the pan and then put it back in the oven for the remainder of its time. All right. Okay, our timer went off, so let's go ahead and check out what our sausage and peppers look like. One second, let me get them for you. All right, they are done. And you can really tell by the way the sausage looks like. All right, so I'll plate it and let you know what it tastes like. Actually, I can just plate it real fast for you guys. It's actually very easy to plate. All I really do is I just get my tongs and I scoop it up. Seriously, for the kids, I'll probably separate certain veggies for them. But this is pretty much the gist of what you're gonna get. Let me show you. See, nice colorful plate, nice and healthy. All right. For the kids, this is what we'll do is I'll put the sausage all on one side and then the zucchini and then the peppers and I'll usually color coordinate them. Um, that's just my OCD. But this is a kid friendly meal so um, our kids enjoy it um, and it's nice and healthy. Um, tonight I'm going to be prepping tomorrow's dinner. We're going to do some baked drumsticks so um, we're looking forward to that. And I hope you guys have a great day and remember to be kind to everyone.